The west coast of the United States is part of what's known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. As such, it is subject to destruction from seismic activity and flooding from tsunami waves. Coastal low-lying areas are particularly prone to damage from tsunamis. One example is the town of Toakland, Washington, part of the Shoalwater Bay Indian tribe. Most of the town lies on a long, sandy peninsula no higher than about 15 feet in elevation. For those living in the southern part of Toakland, evacuation could take more time than is available when a tsunami is generated from a local earthquake. Finding a solution to this problem began in 2011 with the University of Washington's Project Safe Haven program. This program identified the type and location for tsunami vertical evacuation structures designed to help residents on Washington's coast get out of harm's way. Recognizing this need in their own community, the Shoalwater Bay Tribe worked with the Washington State Emergency Management Division and other partners to put together a project to build a tsunami evacuation tower of their own. They submitted their proposal to FEMA in 2017 and were ultimately awarded $2.8 million in federal funding. This combined with a million dollars in tribal funding 22. Today, the residents of Tokeland are safer because of these efforts. This new tower can hold more than 400 people and reduces evacuation times by half, providing people with a much greater chance for survival in a tsunami event. The Tokeland Peninsula is all sandy soils and susceptible to liquefaction during the strong ground shaking from a Cascadia earthquake. Um, so we had to make sure we had the right foundation system. So we have really large diameter piles, five foot diameter piles, uh, that are embedded 55 feet deep into the soil. Earthquakes and the resulting tsunamis can wash ashore here with little warning, but now residents are better prepared to save themselves. We helped to change the atmosphere of being helpless victims to, into one of knowing we can and will survive if we all work together. If you're interested in learning how hazard mitigation can benefit you or your community, visit fema.gov forward slash mitigation. Emergency was officially launched during the Natural Disaster Expo in Miami in the spring of 2022 by Hugo Hernandez, who was also the founder of Agri News. Emergency is an online platform to learn about emergencies and natural disasters, and its founder of Belize that scientists and tech leaders are always crucial on humanitarian crises. Leaders on companies like Amazon, Cisco, and Verizon are supporting first responders and communities to stay connected during all the relief efforts. Honeywell developed personal protective equipment to keep workers safer during disasters cleanup and DoorDash partnered with mayors to serve populations experiencing food insecurity. And Canadian-based company called Faro has created portable hospital rooms that contain oxygen, suction, and medical gas lines with wireless communications for patients and cameras for health professionals to monitor them. Also, the Faro hospital rooms are fully winterized for tough Canadian weather. Satellites see fires burning across California. In August 2020, 